welcome back. Today we are doing the oh so important winter 2023 trends that I am loving right now. Obviously this is for my southern hemisphere girlies because everything right now is about summer or euro summer or just warmer weather in general. That's not us. No, it's not. I thought I would start off by talking about some continuous favorites of mine that sort of carry over from the previous seasons that I've been loving. Obviously, plaid skirts. We all know this one already. I am obsessed with plaid skirts. It's not even funny. It's, it could be a little bit funny, but I really love them. It's great to see that these are becoming a staple for the cooler weather. Second would obviously be anything over trousers. You know, I'm loving a good dress or skirt over trousers moment, even layering skirts over skirts or dresses over skirts or something like that. I love the look of that at the moment and I will still not be getting enough of it because I think it's such a beautiful silhouette. I know some people don't like it. I know it's giving very much Ashley Tisdale 2000s red carpet but I think styled the right way you won't look like a door. Denim, anything, denim on denim, different unique DIY style denim sets, dresses, anything. Here to stay, here to conquer this winter season. I'm loving everything denim. Different washes of denim i'm really keen to see some more i'm seeing some super creative looks i love it loving still seeing unique tights colored tights pattern tights i really want to try and explore these more this season i know i've talked about this for a while i still haven't got my hands on it but you know what i'm gonna commit this winter season cross my heart that is a promise because i really 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 want to give this a go jorts still everywhere love them i think they look so good with boots or ballet flats or kitten heels they kind of tie in with the whole capris i love it obviously they're here to stick around especially again in southern hemisphere winter it's not super mega cold and finally ugly shoes are still continuing to be everywhere i'm seeing a lot of like sporty ballet flats and heels at the moment like the puma ones Still even like a nice chunky shoe. The Salomons have really taken off, which honestly was something so shocking to me because I'm used to seeing them as a hiking shoe. But was it Sandy Liang that did a collab with them? They're super cute and love. So they're obviously here to stay. Loving their moment, vintage or new. So let's hop into some trends that I have not already talked about in previous videos that I'm loving seeing. Okay, fur. Like specifically secondhand or vintage fur. I'm loving either the fur coats, the fur hats, particularly fur trim. I am loving a good fur trim jacket moment at the moment even like a fur trim knit i am scouring depop and ebay for the perfect fur trim jacket i'm still not having much luck i love like the penny lane coats as well obviously the whole fur coat thing works a lot better for a little bit cooler weather so probably a little bit more south but fur trim lightweight jackets beautiful perfect i just love the mix of texture incorporated and you can wear them over like your summer clothes and it just looks so cute all things jackets i've been seeing so many different varieties of jackets that i'm just obsessed with like i don't know obviously wrapping it today the whole like diy decoration of your own blazers i'm loving but particularly track jackets have been popping off like track jackets have been pretty much the jacket for this autumn, winter, even spring up in the Northern Hemisphere. They're just the perfect lightweight jacket. You can have them fitted or oversized. They really fit into the bloquette core style pretty much seamlessly. I've been seeing a lot of like varsity sports wear. I love the style. I think it looks really cool. Of course, like 2000s, 90s fitted jackets. I'm loving, like they have so many unique details like ribbons, buckles. And I've even seen a couple styles of of leather or faux leather jackets in like a bolero style. I think that is so unique. Loving all things jackets. Obviously jackets are a quintessential winter item, but these specific types of jackets, love and seeing beautiful utilitarian bags i think they kind of follow on really well from the big oversized what's the word um ludicrously capacious bag they kind of follow on from the oversized bag trend that we are sort of predicting and seeing come in a little bit more as a contrast to the mini bags that we've had for a while i think the whole sporty workwear kind of aesthetic core whatever that has been very prevalent at the moment is carrying on to these accessories i'm loving seeing these very functional like sporty looking utilitarian bags with the toggles I know that peachy den has done some there's another brand that I've been seeing floating around as well they're just brilliant as crossbodies they're just very functional I love like the rope style I think 
basic pleasure mode has also done a couple bags like this. I think they look amazing. Definitely gonna be keeping an eye out for these. I feel like it's a very unique piece that can kind of elevate your outfit and they're very practical at the same time. Next we have off the shoulder tops. I am loving seeing off the shoulder knit jumpers or long sleeve tops that have like the little collar cut out. I've done that with a couple of my shirts and I just love the look of that. Or just in general, like off the shoulder, maybe lace tops or just like jersey tops. I think they look so flattering and um, I reckon they 100% are here to stay for this winter season, probably the following seasons ahead. I just think it's such a flattering style. Very cute. Definitely something I want to explore with a little bit more. Obviously leg warmers, leg warmers have been around for a long time. <laughs> I just think they're a super cute way of just adding a fun little accessory to your outfit that kind of elevates maybe your shoes. You can kind of add them on top. I think they look so cute with a pair of kitten heels and like a mini skirt or some mini shorts. Even if you have like a stocking underneath, I think it looks so cute. I'm thinking of trying to make my own, like crochet them or something like that. I'm very interested to see them in more colorful versions, more DIY versions than just, you know, your typical white or like mostly ballet core. I want to sort of see a more DIY version. I feel like they're still here to stay and I don't really think that they're going anywhere. Finally, I've been loving seeing different matching sets, whether they're like matching knit sets with matching prints. I know Lynn Mick is doing some gorgeous knitted matching sets. I'm literally obsessed with the ones that she's recently released. Even the Marc Jacobs Heaven gray one, some matching denim sets, or even just like tailored skirt sets from like the 90s or 2000s with like the mini skirts. Like they're so simple, but they look so put together at the same time. And I just think they look so elevated, even though they're so simple. And I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with them at the moment. I think they look so cool. Still think that they're here to stay. I'm just loving seeing different new ways of experimenting with this whole idea of matching sets. Next, I'm going to move on to what has been inspiring me lately. Recently, there was the Cannes Film Festival and Iris Law came out in a very simple look where she layered two cardigans over each other. And I love that look. Like she had the one peeking out from under the other one underneath. I thought it was so unique and such a special way of styling your cardigans. Like they can be such a basic, addition to your outfit but when you layer the two of them they look so slay and I love it I want to try it I don't actually think I own any cardigans to do it with but y'all better believe I'm gonna be on the hunt and finally I've really been loving going through old photos and documentaries of 1990s and 2000s designer runway fashion particularly John Galliano both at his own label Givenchy and Dior Vivian Westwood Jean-Paul Gaultier Comte de Garçon and Alexander McQueen both his own own label and at Givenchy I believe that's where he was. I've just been obsessed with seeing the storytelling in their clothes and how revolutionary their styles and pieces were for the time especially because designer fashion had hit a rut for quite a while and then all of a sudden these amazing creatives came in and just showed us some of the best moments in my opinion of fashion and I've really been looking into it a lot and really just been absorbing their talent and it has been so so inspiring to me to see what they've been putting together. It's really been opening my eyes to different ways of styling outfits, different patterns, just where certain styles and silhouettes came from, the influences for them. And yeah, it's just been a major influence on my interests in style at the moment, as well as the current trends that I've been talking about. But yeah, that's everything that I wanted to talk about today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.